In this video, we are going to show you how to align your LX85 telescope. In order to do so, your telescope should already be set up. Need help with setting up your LX85? Check out our How to Set Up Your LX85 video and come back to learn how to align it once your setup is complete. Now that your telescope is set up, let's get the alignment process started. First, we'll show you how to get your telescope ready to align with AudioStar. We will start by aligning the finder scope. Using the 26mm eyepiece, locate an object at least 1,000 yards away during the day, or a bright object like the moon at night. Center the object in your eyepiece. Now, look through the finder scope. The object will be away from the center point of the crosshairs. When adjusting the viewfinder, adjust two screws at once, one to tighten and one to loosen. Only adjusting one of the front screws will not make an adjustment. Two screws need to be moved at once. The LX85 is a German equatorial mount designed to precisely track objects in the sky. To work properly, the mounts must first be polar aligned so that the right ascension motion follows the apparent motion of the night sky. If the mount is not accurately polar aligned, objects will eventually drift out of the field of view on the telescope. To roughly polar align your LX85, place the telescope in the home position. In this position, the registration marks on each axis should be aligned. Without unlocking the right ascension and declination lock levers, roughly position the LX85 so that it's facing true north. You can use the included magnetic compass to get you close, but remember the compass will point towards magnetic north and not true north. With the viewfinder already aligned with the optical tube and the telescope fixed in the home position, locate Polaris in the finder scope. If Polaris is not in the finder scope, use only the azimuth and altitude adjustment knobs to reposition the mount. Do not move the optical tube at all. Loosen the front altitude lock knob a few turns to allow the altitude adjustment knob to be adjusted. Move the back altitude adjustment knob until the latitude scale on the mount matches the latitude of your location. This is the same altitude as the North Star Polaris. For example, in Los Angeles, California, adjust the mount until the scale is at 34 degrees. The North Star Polaris will also be at 34 degrees above the horizon. Move the altitude and azimuth adjustment knobs as needed until Polaris is centered in the finder scope. If you run out of adjustment travel, you will need to reposition the tripod's position. This will achieve a rough polar alignment. Now that you're polar aligned, you are ready to align the AudioStar handbox. First thing you will want to do is switch your telescope on. Make sure you have properly connected power to your LX85, as shown in the How to Set Up Your LX85 video. Turn the mount on. A red LED on the rocker switch will light up to indicate that the mount is now powered on. AudioStar will beep and the display screen will activate. AudioStar will take a few moments to start up the system. Press zero to align your telescope using the easy align method. Set your location or zip code. The next screen requests the status of daylight savings time. If active, press one, and if not active, press two. AudioStar then asks for the telescope model that you are using. Using the scroll keys, locate the model of your telescope and press enter. Before performing the easy alignment, be sure to put the telescope back into the home position. Next, enter the date and time. Once done, then initializing Smart Drive will appear on the screen. The mount will move slowly for up to 60 seconds while it searches for the right ascension worm index sensor. System initialization is now complete and AudioStar enters into the easy alignment routine. Once AudioStar has completed initialization, the easy alignment can be started by going to the Setup Align menu and selecting Easy. With this alignment method, the telescope will select two bright alignment stars and slew to them. While looking through the finder, use the central arrow keys to center the alignment star in the finder. When centering the alignment star, select the proper motor slew speed. To change the slew speed, press numbers 1 through 9 to select the desired slew speed. When centering targets, it is best to use a slower, more precise slew speed. Now look through the eyepiece and use the arrow keys to more precisely center the star in the eyepiece's field of view. Then press Enter. Repeat the procedure for the second alignment star. If a higher precision alignment is needed, try using the one-star alignment routine found in the Audio Star Handbox. This alignment method will have you more accurately align the mount's right ascension axis on the celestial pole for higher accuracy. When the procedure is performed correctly, alignment successful displays on the handbox. 
Congratulations, you have now successfully set up and aligned your LX85. Now it's time to tour the cosmos, observe the moon, or even check out the planets. Get ready for nights of endless adventure with Mead's LX85.